Hey guys, it's Kenzie. Welcome back to my channel. Today is one of the most exciting videos that I'm probably gonna be posting in a while. Today I'm going to be telling you guys all about my company audition process and where I'm going. And I just feel so like grateful um, and just excited to be able to share this with you guys because even though the dance world seems so big, it's definitely really small. And I feel like not a lot of people just open up or talk about it on YouTube. So for my goals this year, I decided that this year I'm really just going to focus on getting professional experience, networking, getting my foot in the door, um, things like that, getting stuff on my resume, getting professional company on my resume. Um, because since I never went to like a school like Houston Ballet School, Pittsburgh Ballet School, like I didn't go to um, a, a school like that. I don't really have like a name on my resume. Oh, so, those are my goals this year. <clears throat> I definitely um, was not really trying to get a paid position yet just because I, I'm just not ready. Like, I'm 18, I'm out of school, I've never had any professional experience. Barely, honestly, barely any performance experience, especially because this year and last year was like, no. But yeah, I'm going to tell you guys where I applied. So I applied to Norwegian National Ballet, National Ballet Canada, Tulsa Ballet, Ballet Met, Washington Ballet, Cincinnati Ballet, Pacific Northwest Ballet, Atlanta Ballet, Grand Rapids Ballet, Colorado Ballet, Orlando Ballet, Joffrey Ballet, Pittsburgh Ballet Theater, and Houston Ballet. <laughs> so I applied to a lot. I don't know if you guys know, but applying to ballet companies is not like applying to university. It is... You're working with, they're choosing maybe two, four, six people. Like, they have very extremely limited spots. I could definitely go to, like, a training program. Um, like, for example, Pittsburgh Valley Theater has a graduate program, which, honestly, I was considering if I didn't get any other things. Um, so they have that, but you have to pay for it. So I was trying to, like, not have to pay tuition um, to get professional experience so if that makes sense so whereas i wasn't planning on getting paid but i really didn't want to pay either if that makes sense so my application process my ballet master in my studio we made a video for me basically where i took class that video honestly i feel like i look a lot different now than i do in that video but it's okay so we made that and then i also used a performance video from december of gamzati and my contemporary solo as well so i use performance videos to send and basically just send them an email um i think for norwegian national ballet i actually filled out like a form on their website and then you just wait for them to answer so good or bad this is who responded norwegian national ballet pulsa ballet ballet met i can't remember if cincinnati ba cincinnati ballet responded pacific northwest ballet actually responded and the director of the company actually responded to me grand rapids ballet uh, responded and they were the first one to respond positively and I was literally like freaking out in my car at Starbucks I was literally like oh my gosh Colorado Ballet responded Orlando Ballet responded and Joffrey Ballet responded Pittsburgh Ballet Theater did respond as well so out of those the ones who responded positively were Grand Rapids, Grand Rapids Ballet like I said Ballet Met, Joffrey and kind of Orlando, but like not really. The ones who invited me to audition were ba Ballet Mag, Grand Rapids Ballet, and Joffrey Ballet. So Joffrey Ballet sent me an email and they put me on a waiting list for their trainee program. But they invited me to audition for like their second company, I guess, just to like see us. There was like 16 people there. Ballet Met invited me to audition for their Ballet Met 2 company. And then Grand Rapids, bleh, Grand Rapids Ballet invited me to audition um, and they were considering me for a trainee position. So, if you want to see those audition vlogs, I posted a video like a while ago. After those auditions, I was just waiting, 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 and Ballet Met to actually call me, and they were the first ones to call me. And let me tell you, I was not expecting it like at all. The director of the second company called me, and she was like, we're still considering you, and let me know if you have any deadlines. So literally, freaking out grand rapids ballet contacted me and then i had to go back to ballet math i had to tell them i had a deadline and then they came back to me and then they um ultimately ballet met ended up sending me an email they weren't gonna take me this year which i was like honestly i wasn't like that like upset like at all um mostly because i really did not want to go to ohio 
no offense to my Ohioan, Ohioans. No, Columbus versus Grand Rapids. And I was like, okay. Uh, yeah. So the phone call that I got from Grand Rapids Valley was positive and um, they want me for their training program. So after a long time of waiting, <laughs> um, I signed an agreement and I'm gonna be joining Grand Rapids Valley as a trainee for their 2021 20 season. I'm like so excited, it's like surreal. I just can't believe that I'm moving like so far away to dance like every day and like work with a professional company. I'm just like so, mm. if you wanna learn more about their training program, I'm not gonna try to explain it to you because I, I don't wanna say anything like wrong. So you can go on their website and like look at it if you're that interested um yeah i'm just so excited and i just never saw myself in michigan but i'm excited um i think grand rapids valley is a really cool city i've never really been well i have been to the midwest but obviously like i'm an east coast girl so that sounded really weird why did i say like <laughs> kind of go up and down the north the east coast like new york pa um North Carolina, like, you know, I go to Ocean City, Maryland for vacation or Outer Banks or something like that. But, so it's me weird to be really up north and in the Midwest. But at least it's still Eastern time, I'm pretty sure. I've been to Illinois. I've been to Chicago. That's pretty much it, I'm pretty sure. I really just hope this year brings, or I hope the next season just brings a lot of opportunities and growth that is my goal and i just want to be con i just want to build confidence in a setting like that and i just want to soak it all in because i know that i might not you know be professional for that long like you never know like you could get injured you could just not like it and quit like you know i just want to like soak it in like it's not a normal job it's not a normal thing to do to be a ballet dancer like it's something so special and i'm just oh i'm just so excited and yeah. If you guys have any questions about literally anything, let me know. When I tell you guys, like, I had no idea where I was going this year. Like, I did not think I was going to end up in Michigan. I really honestly thought I was going to go to Pittsburgh. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I was really honestly... I was planning on... I was kind of considering doing the graduate program at PBT. Um, mainly because it's just closer to home. It's more like in a comfort zone. Um, no, I'm, I'm going to Michigan and I'm going to, um, you know, get my foot in the door as a trainee. And <clears throat> we'll see where that takes me. Or quit if I don't like it. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> um, I'm still going to be being, I'm still going to be a YouTuber. I'm still going to have my business, of course. I'm just so excited to take you guys on this journey with me and I'm so excited to experience it. And yeah, I'll like hopefully do my first Nutcracker. Like I've literally never done a Nutcracker. But thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for following along my journey. And yeah, I love you guys so much. Stay confident. Bye.